at the start of the 2025 season, the NBA had nerve. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Had nerve. Yes, come on. The NBA had nerve to list the favorites to win the NBA championship. Had nerve to add a percentage, right? So let's take a look at this presented by the NBA. Looking at the Boston Celtics, a 25% chance. Oh, well, considering how they're playing right now, I'm gonna need that bumped up about 15%. At least. At least. I'm 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 a, I guess I haven't done the math, but these totals must equal 100 percent Makes sense if they did, right? Okay. Yeah, that's about right. So if we bump up the Boston Celtics by 15%, somebody's gonna be knocked off this list. At the start of the season, as we're talking right now, and yeah, but Boston Celtics 100%. Well, not 100. Uh, 75 percent. Yes, I said 15. I probably should give you another 50. 50 percent. Oh. Yes, <laughs> yes, 75 uh. chance. Absolutely. At the top of the season, how they playing right now? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think it's just shocking to see the Oklahoma City Thunder, such a young team, almost at 18 percent chance of winning the NBA championship. How wonderful would it be? And I can just tell you right now. There's a couple of players that come to mind that are going to be kicking themselves that they even left the OKC Thunder. And that is Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant. They should have still been a part of the OKC Thunder today. Yeah, but it wouldn't have been the same. It would not have been the same. We would not be seeing this brand of basketball from the Oklahoma City Thunder at this stage if they're still if they would still be there. No, it'd be a whole different a whole different feel about the game. So no, I like the way it is right now. I like mm -hmm. the fact that this team is is constructed the way it's constructed and I'm on board for this team winning or being close to win the NBA championship. Yes, this team. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. It wouldn't be the same. Mm -hmm. but I just want Russell Westbrook to get a ring. You know, he could be an old vet on the bench because seeming as though he's not doing much for the Denver Nuggets right now who are mm -hmm. also on this list with a 9% chance of winning the NBA championship. 9%? Wow. I believe that the Denver Nuggets will bounce back from their current state. From their current state. Because this 9% is looking real valid right now. <laughs> real valid. However, I do believe that the percentage will be upped a little bit once the season progresses. And we're talking about, you know, maybe at the top of the year, I believe they'll be a lot better. So, it's on the list... To um, be one of the favorites, yes. This percentage, 9% at this stage, I can support that. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. I can't. I What'd can't support them? it. I, I, it's not looking good for them. You know, even, even Nicole Jokic <sighs> said they don't have shooters. You get rid of KCP. <sighs> mm -hmm. you, you know, you yeah, Michael Porter Jr. on a downhill slide. You ruin your chances because you... You basically can't spread the floor. No one's going to guard Russell Westbrook on the arc right now because they Why? know he's not going to hit the three ball. No. Oh, no. It, you know, it's really I, – I, I don't like to see it. I really don't like to see him out there in the island and can't hit it. It's really sad. It's sad to see. <laughs> All right. So I didn't mean to bounce around, but look at these New York Knicks, though. 14.3% chance of winning the NBA championship. I'm going to tell you right now, though, unless – Jalen Brunson has the conversation that Anthony Edwards had with Julius Randle. Knicks ain't mm. going nowhere. Ooh. He needs to go ahead and let Aunt, uh, let Cat cook. Just going to let him cook. Let him know, hey, it's okay for you to be who you are and we'll move around you, but here's the deal. Jalen Brunson ain't going to do that. No, It's not, not in his that. nature. He going to pound that ball until he can't pound it anymore just to get to the to the paint and do his little floater, his little left-hand situation. It's not going to happen. Cat will not be happy with the New York Knicks. Therefore, Knicks ain't going nowhere. And they are definitely we, ain't winning a championship. Are we looking at the reincarnation of James Harden with the uh, Houston Rockets? Is that what we're watching right now? The answer is yes. <laughs> are we watching? I don't like that. Wow. <laughs> Knicks. Yikes. Julius Randle and Dante DiVincenzo <laughs> over there cheesing like, ah. <laughs> we over here with these wolves, right? Mm -mm -mm. That's too bad. Yeah, no, but 14%. Uh, and, and they don't have Hardenstein? Mm -mm. 
Yeah, Ooh. Nix, I'm sorry. Had it been, had we been talking about this percentage last season, I would have been on board with it. But I can't, not at the top of the season, I can't be on board with this 14% right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all don't look like y'all can even remotely even get to the Eastern Conference as we speak, let alone the NBA championship. So that's too bad. <laughs> Yeah, nor do the Philadelphia Sixers at this stage oh of the NBA season. Nine oh. percent. So the NBA gave the Sixers and the Nuggets about the same percentage of winning the NBA championship. That's crazy. These are supposed to be contenders. Like nine percent. You might as well. It might as well be zero. Like I don't know. That's really low. You know the disrespect. The disrespect from. The former, what, one season removed from the championship? One season removed, the Denver Nuggets, they got 9% net equal to what the 76ers with no championship. Wow. The disrespect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but mm -hmm. the, I'm quite sure when the set when the NBA put this out, Joel and B was supposed to be playing. Paul George was supposed to be their new uh, coming of the, the number number 2B. Because you ain't going to be over maxi in my book but at least it's number two b <laughs> but no and that ain't even it because paul george and joel and b they ain't on the court Ooh, uh, it's disappointing to say the least but also yeah. joel and b won mvp recently nikola Jokic mvp recently yeah and this is how their franchise is looking or perceived know. you know at the top of the yeah. 2025 season crazy Right, 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 right. Um, the Timberwolves, are you okay with that 8.3%? Gosh, it seems a little a little low to me. I just I just don't know why whoever put this together gave the Timberwolves and the Dallas Mavericks the same chance at winning. I think Dallas Mavericks are with Klay Thompson looking the way he does right now. His yeah. shot looks like he looks like Golden State Clay. Yeah, they look pretty good. Yeah, yeah. The Timberwolves, I, I guess I'll rest. I want them to do a new favorite um, in December. Can you do a new one? Right? What will the percentages or who or will these teams still be the same if you did this, if the NBA did this again in December? I'm curious because that, some bas more basketball would have been played, right? Or at least right before the All-Star break, if nothing else, do a new the, do a new. Um, image with new percentages and potentially new teams because I can see right now some of these I, I don't know if the Sixers will still be on this list come mm -hmm. um, before the All-Star break. I, I don't see it, right? I do believe that the percentages for the Timberwolves and the Dallas Mavericks should be uh, bumped up a little bit and then take some of that percentage from the New York Knicks because I don't see that happening for them either. Mm. Not 14%. Not 14%. Not right now. And we're talking about right now it's top of the season. This particular image came out on X on October 22nd, the, the start of the league. So the start of the season. So yeah, mm -mm. no, nope. make some mm -hmm. adjustments. Yeah. This is clearly early. This is an early prediction of or a forecast for these franchises because mm -hmm. the Milwaukee Bucks look a lot better than 7% to me chance of winning the NBA championship. I think the Bucks are going to the Eastern conference finals which would mean that they have a 25% chance of winning the NBA yeah. championship, right? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Wow. I don't know. I just, um, you think there's anybody that's missing? Uh, now that we're one week into the NBA season, mm -hmm. I think you got to put the Los Angeles Lakers on there. I, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Ooh, that Anthony Davis leading the way. I agree. That mm -hmm. new coach, right coach at the right time, Coach Reddick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to mm -hmm. put them on there. But who would you remove, though, at this stage? I would remove the Sixers. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't I don't trust the process right now. So I would remove the Sixers. <laughs> Why you don't have uh, Ben Simmons in the Nets up here? Yes. Oh, they're not winning a championship. But my hope is that Ben Simmons can return to his old form. When? I'm a Ben Simmons fan. When? Hey, you know what? 
since you mentioned Ben Simmons, did you see that clip on X where I guess a fan was talking trash to Ben after Ben passed him, like in the hallway? And then Ben was like, why you didn't say that when I was right there in your face? And then Dennis Schroeder backed up Ben Simmons was like, hey, who was talking trash about Ben Simmons? Did you see it? The clip on uh -uh. X? No, oh, no. I love the team chemistry they had going on. Give them that some time. Now, I don't think they're going to win the NBA championship. Definitely not going to make this image or, or be a percentage of winning. Okay. Uh -huh. But they they probably make the play in tournament. Oh, okay, okay, better than it was last season. I'm with that. That's good. Slight improvement, you know, baby steps. I'm with that.